Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys an easy and quick way to grayscale your sprite in any of your Unity project. Firstly, you need to have this grayscale shader which I found at some posts from the Unity forum. Uh, I will share it at the description below. Then, now I have a sprite, a random sprite here. I will create a new sprite for demos, demo purpose. So this is a tree spike. Let me increase the size a bit. Okay, cool. Let's call it tree. Then the first thing we need to do is create a material. Right click create and look for material. We call this uh grace skill material. Then on the shader, pick the great sprite gray skill. Yep, mm, yep, the setting is fine, it's cool. Uh, make sure your grayscale amount set to zero by default. So when you apply the grayscale, uh, then you can go to, to over your sprite and apply the grays, the material. Cool, now you see nothing has happened. For sure, now we need a script. Okay, create a new script, we call this grayscale. Double click and edit it. Okay, the first thing we need to do for sure we need to allow mm, we don't need any field I think so we need a private field call spike render to get the spike render <laughs> then during at the start method we are set the sprite render looking or if I get component sprite render so this will get the sprite render of your game object so we are not need any update method so now we need a grayscale routine to have some grayscale animation so we will create a float called duration we say by one by default then we will create a private emulator routine we call it grayscale routine then it will take a duration and also a boolean is grayscale so now what we need to do is um, for sure we need to look we need a, another flood call time equal to zero make sure the time is less than when the duration is greater than the time means we will continue apply the animation so we will calculate the the current frame duration by getting time dot delta then we will get the grayscale ratio by dividing because by, de by default is zero the fully amount will be one more. so the current ratio will be the passes time divided by the total duration so the amount will be grayscale amount mm. we will set it to the ratio that's it so how we apply the grayscale so we need another method we use this prior method in case in the future you might be to public set the grayscale we set this by default the amount to 1 then we just call the sprite render dot material we set the material by set the float of a um, uh, set the grayscale amount from the shader so if you look at the shader screen you will find this variable so cool this will set a grayscale then on here we just call the set grayscale method then set it to our gray amount then of course we need to increase the time by current frame mm. then you return now lastly when the animation add we definitely need to set the gray skill to full one so that's it this is how simple a gray skills gray skill script looks like so we can go back to our unity to test it 
basically we just make sure our material have the grayscale material then we add the grayscale script to it then um, yeah now we need to test it for sure when you start definitely we will do nothing because we have not we don't have any trigger to trigger the start core routine method right yeah we need to add another method for uh, start grayscale routine Then we just start all the grayscale routine. Mm, duration will be used, the duration and this grayscale will be definitely is the grayscale. Later I will explain what this flag will be used. So let me try to demo it. For sure, as you can see, I have the reset and start button. We just demo using a start button first. We add our one click listener to the object then trigger the start grayscale routine okay. sorry we should use the start grayscale routine method okay cool when we press start as you can see it is starting become the grayscale amount it is fully set to one so we will now need to implement a reset method so we can get back to the original color so go back to your script, we'll add another method, we call it reset then we start the core routine by passing a force to the display skill so the thing we need to modify here is um, let me check, okay I think it's here so we will check whether display skill is true if yes, then we will set it to if square is good, then we set it to ratio else the shorthand for if else statement else we will use once minus ratio and forward a bit so you can see so on here we also need to do similar things similar things that means square is good. Uh, checking this square is good. Then default will be zero. Yeah, cool. Then we will now test the reset method. Add the listener to reset method. Uh, trigger the reset. Cool. Now we can test it. So when I click start, it will start to grayscale it. Then it will click reset. As you can see, the color will come back. So you can keep, it will keep restart the animation. Cool. I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.